Ja, wie What's up guys, what's up YouTube? I am trying to remove these seats so we can get access to the fuel pump. Now, I'm not going to drop the tank because I know that what might be a uh, way more hassle. So why not cut into the floor? I seen a video, like literally like one detailed video on it and I got to find it again. But I do have a picture that I took uh, to save it. Uh, however, I do want to start this truck today. Um, I just want to have that exposed for the new uh, fuel pump that we got coming in from Canada from Racetronics. And I'm just basically trying to tidy everything up. I had put this inside so i might have to get like three more bottles of this cheap stuff we're gonna run the cheap stuff for us before we actually you know put the good stuff in um i had this in a truck like over a period of time and uh, same as his oil we're gonna use some of this oil i'm gonna fill it up we got the cap off um just to verify leaks now before we actually get it tuned and stuff and i actually want to see if it's gonna crank today do y'all think we can get it crank i think we can as long as we don't uh, do any unnecessary things um so yeah fingers crossed i forgot to mention that i had uh, made sure my lines on the bottom side was tight uh, so everything tight i'm gonna fill up like, the trans with some fluid don't know how much we're gonna need um i'm just fill it up uh to a cording percentage but like i said i'm gonna let the truck run and let all the fluids you know pump through and stuff and we're gonna see uh what we have thank god if you ever doing something in life I don't know, just me. Just have execution and be very determined about it. Like, I could have sat in today. Man, I've been uh, working, like, I say 16 hours per day. One one day out of the week, I worked 32. And the rest of the day, I've been working 16. Was it worth it? Hell yeah, it was worth it. Great. But, kind of... I mean, I got everything done, but you know, some stuff when you on top of a rooftop sweating, that thing could be, you gotta be very mentally prepared. For stuff. So I'm even taking out the time to get this truck done because that's how determined I am. I'm gonna be off for like a whole another week and stuff. So I'm gonna have you know, time dressed up and some stuff for myself. I just want this truck to be done so I can drive it and have some nice fun with it. So um, I could have been resting right about now. So guys, we got the area that we're going to cut. Hopefully this is the right <laughs> spot. I've looked at the photo that I had. So guys, when you're doing this part, make this. sure you don't have no fuel in the tank. And make sure you be very cut. precise. Do not cut too damn deep. Um, you don't want to mess up your harness or anything. But this was fairly easy compared to dropping the tank. Oh, yeah, it right. is doable. Um, and we got easy access. You let me know what y'all think down in the comments. We are adding blood to the turbo truck. All right, so guys, I got my oil filled up. I got my trans fluid filled up. I put about like eight quarts in there. So that's like a, a gallon, uh, four quarts. A gallon equals four quarts, you know what I'm saying? But I got eight quarts in there. So I got another bottle just in case. I think the for the 480, they are about like 13.5 quarts, but uh, we're not going to be able to like go from part to drive because we got to have, uh, we have to do a swag segment swap. You know what I'm saying? And look at my finger. I had cut myself. Uh, it's really going bad right now. But all right, guys. So we got everything together. We got our fluids in. The only thing we have to do is just let this, uh, I guess, purge, get these air bubbles out. Um, and uh, just go from there. I had took the intake uh, piece off. I wasn't uh, too sure. But we're actually going to try to start this truck. I got spark plugs in. Made sure everything was in. So, yeah, we'll see. All right, guys. First start, we got battery plugged in. We got our spark plugs. Um, only thing I have to worry about is probably this. Oh, never mind. That's for the steering. It might be for the steering column. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, we got everything plugged in. Got fluids in, uh, I got this off. Uh, check underneath the truck, got everything in. I'm not running no O2 sensors right now, but we'll see what will happen. All right, guys, so we got our battery, got all the spark plugs and all that in. We got our fluids in. Uh, this is actually kind of scary right about now, um, but I know it will probably start. 
So as you can see, Stompy's real scared. We got some fuel in. Also look at my fuel pressure. And do anybody know about the engine reduced power? I don't know if that's like the throttle or just uh, the cable that we need to have. I'm not sure. I mean, when I say cable, this uh, thing right here, should we uh, go from here to here? I mean, I gotta look that up. And guys, I'm also checking my fuel lines, my connections. I don't see no leaks thus far, but we're gonna let everything run. Y'all, we got. I don't know if it's gonna start. Nah, ain't doing that. So guys, make sure everything plugged in. So my throttle position uh, sensor thing, uh, well, the cable wasn't plugged in. And I was looking at this off the super uh, chip thing that I had. And it was uh, just saying throttle position sensor and all that. And I had to make sure it was plugged up. So let's try again. See if they're gonna uh, test my battery. So, guys, we're gonna change the battery. Only had like 12.1, so we'll get a new one. Not be able to be anyways, so it depends. All right, so guys, I have bought a battery uh, from Advanced Auto. The other battery I had was like an emergency type battery. Um, so, anyway, we're gonna read battery voltage. I got 12.4, and uh, we're gonna see what it do after this. You should start. Still not. So, guys, at this moment, I knew that the battery wasn't the issue. We got a strong enough battery, still. but somehow I knew it had to be something simple from keeping this truck to crank over. Now, mind you. I checked all my fuses that was on the initial side, the starter, checked all my grounds, checked all my connections, and even checked my PCM uh, connections, made sure everything was in tight. Uh, I ain't had no blown fuses. I even checked on the left side of the dash. Everything is just fine as it's supposed to be. Now, after doing research and stuff of what I conducted, uh, I mean, the anti-lock system can have it out. Uh, bad fuses such as the PCM and any other little fuses could have it out. And the one thing I could think of, not at this moment, but probably like the next day, which is Sunday, uh, is that we're going to need a segment swap because... I think the truck is confused on what state is actually at, right? This is uh, in park or neutral. I don't know. So, yeah, let's just get into it. And right, I think I have to do a segment swap because I don't think the truck going to start because they don't know if it's in park or uh, neutral. I did repend uh, the PCM down that way. Uh, I did jump from 30 and 87, and the truck uh, started right away. So that's what we're going to do. Well, you can hit the starter. Watch this. Yeah, hit the starter. Yeah. So y'all let me know if y'all agree. I mean, I did need a battery anyway, regardless. But um, it always does this. 
And like I said, it probably don't know if it's in park or neutral. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have this in the own position. I'm gonna go from here. Scary now. Alright guys, we're gonna try that one more time. I think I should have just kept the thing in. Yeah. We're gonna let it just run. see some smoke somewhere oh that's water <laughs> that's water that kind of scared the hell out of me I'm not gonna cap that's water I think that's water yeah that's water wow she actually wow She won't got no fire or nothing. All right, guys, so most definitely gonna need a tune, of course. Uh, like I said, the truck will not start. And I think everything is fine. We don't have no leaks. Guys, I don't see any leaks. I mean, I did tight. I got, probably gotta tighten this up again um, more to make sure this is tight. I don't see no uh, oil leak over there. And surprisingly, I don't have no oil leak where my drain at. I think I just need to tighten it up just the bottom side. I don't see no leaks anywhere. The trans uh, is kind of getting me because I was trying to uh, turn on the fan switch, but I don't know if that's going to work if uh, we don't have like the proper uh, nation. I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Um, I can't even start the truck on its own without even jumping it. Um, like I said, we did a uh, 4L80 swap and we did repin everything. So the thing's probably thinking it's not in park or neutral. That's my guess. I mean, obviously the engine and stuff turned over just fine. Um, and that's pretty much it. I feel my oil level up. I don't know how much oil I'm gonna need. Would I need more oil? Ben, it's going to be running extra routes and stuff. Y'all let me know. Um, I do have like two <clears throat> uh, holes filled. Uh, trans, two holes filled. But we got to go through the gears and stuff. You got to get that uh, fluid uh, to go around. Uh, yeah, other than that, let me know. I mean, I think I'm going to need a tune regardless. I already 
talking to the tuner. Only thing I'm waiting for is uh, the injectors to come in and the fuel pump, I'm getting the fuel pump from uh, Racetronics. So I already got that area cut open so I can go in and change that. And the fuel injectors I got coming uh, from LX uh, Acceleration, I don't know, uh, a company out of Tennessee. But anyway, uh, uh, I got the injectors that the guy recommended. We're getting a two bar map sensor. So 50 pounds um, of injectors, two bar map sensor, and then the well bore um, fuel pump. We also got the uh, wiring kit for, uh, for it. Um, and then if y'all know anything about the rally uh, relays, y'all let me know. Uh, if I jump here and there and I can flip the switch, uh, the fan will run. But when a truck running, I don't get no action from the fan, but I don't know if I'm, I don't know if the thing got to be completely on or from the ignition. Uh, Y'all let me know. Um, Cause I think I have one wire going here and then this orange wire. What do I have this one watch? Oh, I can't even talk. I think I have this orange wire going there. I'm not sure. I got something hooked up somewhere. Anyway, uh, that's going to be pretty much it. I'm going to go and shut the hood. And uh, I'm actually content, but um, I really want to start like this. So, yeah.